What is going on everybody and welcome on back into Call of the Wild where today we are making a video to replace the old how to get rich quick video. Now there is a very good reason for this, okay? When I made that video, it was true. That was the best way of making money in the game where you would go on to Hirschwelden, place down some geese decoys, call the geese in and take them out. You can make thousands upon thousands within an hour. However, in the latest update, for whatever reason, EW felt that that was the thing to focus on and patch up. So that is no longer something that we can do. So I've had to go back to the drawing board and now I have come up with a secondary way. It's not as effective and it doesn't make you as much money in a short space of time, but this is still a pretty reliable source of income for your game. And that is going to require you to have a couple of things, okay? First off, you are going to need the Te Aoroa New Zealand DLC, or you are going to need a very kind friend that will let you jump on their multiplayer map on this area over here, which is going to be on the right-hand side of the map, okay? This is an area that I call Fallow Lake, and the reason for that, if we have a look around, as you will be able to see, there is an absolute turn of fallow deer around the perimeter of this lake. Alrighty then, I went away from my keyboard and when I came back coming on in here we have a beautiful level 2 but also out of nowhere there is a level 5 feral pig so I think this might be a diamond. We're gonna go ahead and find out by taking it down like that and we'll take this one down before it runs off as well but that's really cool it's very rare that i actually find the level five pigs on new zealand so uh hopefully here we'll be able to get ourselves a beautiful diamond so this one here obviously a beautiful black spotted level two right there and right there we have ourselves a beautiful level five diamond feral pig and let's keep on moving for the animal that we're actually trying to hunt fallow deer so what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to go ahead and get yourself into the middle middle of the lake for around 9 a.m. Okay, I recommend putting a tent down and then going ahead and putting a tripod down next to it. So you do need the tents and you do need the tripod DLC as well, unless you're using a friend's map, in which case ask them if they have some available for you to use. When you get into the middle here around 9 a.m., what you're going to want to do is you are literally going to get, I recommend using the M1 for this, okay, because the M1 has a semi-automatic ability but you can literally just go ahead and start shooting at the fallow deer. Each of the fallow deer locations are far enough away from the other that you don't spook a fallow deer off when you shoot them. If I shoot these guys here, these guys will stay calm. And then you can just keep on moving on around and take your shots on taking the animals out. Now, I do recommend after you take out an animal, before you move on to the next lot, you do actually go ahead and reload just in case you do miss a shot. And now one thing that some of you may be asking is about the need zones, okay? Andy, you're shooting all these fallow deer. Is it not gonna delete need zones? And no, the reason for that is the tripod, okay? The tripod is going to reduce the amount of uh, need zone damage that you do per kill, okay? So instead of taking out just one, two, three, and then the need zone gets deleted, you can take out eight, nine, 10 in the same area and the, uh, the hunting pressure will not really increase all that much. Then once you've gone ahead and taken care of all of the animals that are around the lake, jump out of your tripod and just start picking them up. Now we currently have here in our bank balance, 2,376,740 something. Let's see how much we're on when we actually go ahead and pick all of the deer up. Okay, so I have gone around the edge of the lake here and I've picked up as many of the fallow that I've taken out as I could find. And if we have a look on our account balance here, we have 2,389,000 credits now, which means that we have made around 12,250 from this literal one time going around the lake. And as you can see here, we still have all of our fallow deer need zones intact and we are able to just go ahead, reset time to nine o'clock and do it all over again. So let's go ahead and do exactly that to show proof of concept. Okay, so as you can see right here, the hunting pressure is exactly the same. All I've done is reset time back to 9.35 and you can see that there's animals coming in over there. If we pan on around, there's not as many as there was. It does take a little while for them to come back in, but you can definitely see on the horizon, there's a level four over there. And by around 11 a.m., I expect there'll probably be similar numbers to what there was when we started shooting at them before I reset the time. So you do have to be quite patient with them. Like I said, it's not as effective as the uh, hunting geese method was, but I think that currently this is the best method that we have in the game, given that the uh, the geese had the changes made to them in the recent updates. I hope that that's been useful for you guys. I hope that you are able to jump onto New Zealand and start hunting some fallow deer to try and get yourself some beautiful cash in the bank. But also, of course, you do get the chance to getting diamonds and things thrown in as well. So I do wish you guys the best of luck with that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, please leave a sub if you haven't already and like the video if you did enjoy it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.